Hey, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple website with Latheme. I just installed it and now it says please create a menu in the backend. I click there and create a menu, check primary menu and save it. Let's add a new project. I set a featured image that's the preview image of the project. Let's add some images. When I press the plus and minus keys, I resize the image. I can resize them with dragging the corners. I can align the images. I can move the rows. You can add Vimeo videos or YouTube videos. You can add text. Right there is the column count that specifies how many columns you want in your layout. Next to it is the column gutter, that's the space between your columns. And then there is the row gutter, the space between your rows. You can also set row gutters individually, you just click on one row gutter and then type in a number. The frame is the space around your layout. I publish the project and view it. That's the layout we just created. Now we still want to add this project to the home page. As you see here, our home page is empty. And we do that in categories. See this home category, that's the front page by default. We add our project there. Okay, now on our front page, that's the preview image of our project. We click it and we're inside of it. Now let's change the text style of your whole website. The way to do that is in text formats. We go to text formats. We change the default text style to Comic Sans. And now all texts are in Comic Sans, even the text there. Let's duplicate our project and we'll make a 3D project. We give it another name. Remember to set the permalink, that's the URL. I'm just going to delete some images here. You can edit an image or you can just double click it and then you can replace it. We just add a new category, 
called 3D projects. And now let's add one more 3D project. I'm giving it another name and I update the permalink again. This project looks fine, but I will update the featured image. And now what we're going to do is we go to categories. That's the new category we just created. And we add the two projects we just created. Okay, great. But the user needs to be able to visit this category. So we go to appearance menus and we add this category to the menu. I'll just delete the other links here because we don't need them for now. Now on the website, we go to 3D project. That's our category we just created. And now we have two categories, the home category and the 3D projects category. Okay, next up is an about page. Pages are kind of like projects, but they can't have featured images and they can't be in categories. Let's add this page to the menu. There it is. Now you see it's really far up there, close to the menu. So we could just go to our page and we could change the top frame. But imagine we want to have this same top frame for every project, category and page. Then we will have to go through each of them and set the top frame individually. But there is an easier way to do that. It's in Lay Options, Gridder Defaults. There we change the top frame for everything. We want 7% top frame. And now it's 7% top frame everywhere, on our page, on our home page, in a category, everywhere. Let me show you how to customize the appearance of your website. In Customize, there you could set the front page of your website. As your front page, you can set a category, a page or a project. When I go to a page, now I have different controls. For example, the links and text control. We'll use a different background color. And we change the menu position. We hide the menu bar. And now in our home category, we can change the featured image mouse over. There's this blur effect. A zoom effect. You can explore all these settings by yourself. You can customize a lot there. Next up, we will create a headline text format. We choose the format type, headline, type in a name. That's our new text format. We just set all of the attributes of this text style. We set it to be in percent, so this way the text will resize with the browser. Space bottom will be the space below your headline. 
Now we can apply our text format anywhere. For example, in our project. The way you do it is you select a text, go to formats, headline, and then you choose your format. Here you see how the text resizes with the browser since we use that percentage font size. What's cool about text formats is you can also use them in the customizer, for example for the site title, but you could also use them for the menu. And now whenever you update your text format, the site title will be updated too, and everything that uses this text format will just be updated. Now you see our site title has the updated text format and in our project the headline is updated as well. In my opinion it's best to use text formats for all of the texts on your website. This way it will be easy to manage your texts and it will be easy to change your text styles in the future. If you have questions, if you found a bug, or you have ideas on how to improve Latheme, then please let me know in the forum. Thanks for using Latheme.